Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Early Career Academic. On this channel, I explore how I use the Passion Planner to set personal and professional goals. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how I planned our move. <laughs> uh, yes, we're moving. <laughs> uh, I will endeavor to post a picture of our new house on the community page and Instagram if you follow me there. Um, and of course, I'll have a lot more to report on that at a later date, but in an effort to pre-film some videos that will go up while we're moving, um, I'm going to go and talk about our process for planning the move and showing you how it shows up in my planner as well. Um, so this isn't a plan with me, it's more kind of like an explanatory video, but if you're interested in how I use the Passion Planner to help organize that whole effort, then stick around. Um, before we get started, I am a Passion Planner Ambassador. That means there's an affiliate link and description, uh, discount code in the description of this video. If you'd like to purchase a Passion Planner or any of the Passion Planner accessories or goodies, by all means, use that code and that link. I always appreciate it when y'all do that. But thanks for just being here and for watching these videos. Um, this is a Passion Planner Medium Elite, um, undated with the months in the front, the weeks in the middle, and the blank pages in the back. So let's get into it. Um, you can see this has become a very chunky, chunky little mama planner. Um, and part of it's, you know, I ha I'm keeping everything I want to not lose track of and some stickers and stuff in this folder. So that's kind of part of the chunk. But a lot of the chunk is just having used the planner itself. So I'm going to flip to a back page that I've been using for keeping track of moving tasks. Okay. <laughs> So <clears throat> if you haven't seen my recent planner um, back pages flip through video, I go through all the back pages that I've planned so far. Um, but this is one of the newest ones. It's the new home purchase page. Um, you can see it's not very pretty. I did the stupid little house drawing, but I was just trying to um, get some like thoughts out of my head and onto paper. You can also see we checked a lot of these boxes already. A lot of this had to do with the actual purchase of the home, um, and then a few like s other details like scheduling movers and stuff like that, switching utility or, you know, shutting down utilities, setting up new utilities and things like this. And then there are some things that we need to do, some of which we could do right now, um, but some of which we have to wait to a certain point in the process to do. Um, for example, we've forwarded our mail um, to the new address but to change the address on our credit cards and banks and Amazon and all that stuff, um, we are just waiting until we um, get like final closing details just to make sure that we don't have to undo all that. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Home deals are crazy. Um, and, you know, change our, um, our ID addresses and so on and so forth. Um, and um, I did also put our new address on our Christmas cards and haven't mailed them yet. But that, they're acting as kind of a change of address announcement a little bit. So um, that, I'll just check this off because technically I'm taking care of that. I'm not doing a separate announcement. Um, we've also, we set up our utilities. And then these things might be useful for some of you if you are planning on moving in the near future. Um, this camp box item, this is um, what I would recommend if you were moving I recommend to everyone who who is moving because I've moved a lot of times in my life. I pretty much moved 17 times before I turned 18 years old. Um, and that is to have a what I call a camp box. Um, and that is like a bin that you carry with you, if you can, um, which has all the things in it that you could possibly need to like camp out in your house. And um, what I mean by that is because once the movers, if, if you're using movers, or even if you're not, once all those stuff is in your house that you're moving, it's really actually hard for you to find everything you need to like live in your home because the boxes aren't all in the order you put them in. You know, even if the movers get them right and put them in the right rooms, there are so many of them. Sometimes you can't access the boxes you need. So I recommend having a box which, which you fill with things like paper towels and toilet paper and trash bags, sheets for your bed because, and you know, related to that, set up your bed first thing because then you have somewhere to collapse into when you're too tired to unpack for the rest of the day. Um, but sheets for your bed, a coffee machine, coffee, you know, things you're going to like want and need like in the immediate time before you have had a chance to unpack everything and put everything away. 
Um, so I recommend a camp box. Put everything in there that you would basically need if you were camping somewhere, you know, that had bathrooms but didn't have toilet paper, that kind of thing. Um, for us, this also includes a lot of baby gear, you know, monitors and sound machines and so on and so forth. We just, we need to be prepared in case whatever happens, happens, right? Um, and we don't know also yet if the movers are coming in the early morning or if they're coming later in the day. You know, that makes a difference too. If they're moving your stuff, you know, later in the day and it's like right up against baby bedtime, you know, the last thing we're going to want to do is try to hunt down everything she needs to go to sleep, right? Um, so it's just useful to have that. So I have our boxes and I have some stuff to put in them already, but I need to also like go ahead and fill them up with the things we'll need. Um, and some of that stuff I can't put in until the very last minute. Leave keys, fobs, etc. For the for the house we're leaving, we want to leave all that stuff behind. Um, tips for the movers and refreshments. I'm definitely going to do this. We just have to like sort it out. I also, because I don't know what time the movers are coming, don't know if I should get refreshments that are more like morning refreshments, you know, like donuts and coffee type thing or like later in the day. So, um, but I'm going to get something for them, even though it's a local move and it shouldn't take longer than six hours. Um, you know, it's just a gesture and I think it helps improve morale and, you know, maybe they'll take better care of your things if they feel like you're taking care of them. So, um, we'll do that. And then leave a check for the cleaner who's going to come clean our house after all our stuff is out of it. And then we have still some things to pack that we haven't packed yet. I have like a litany of scrapbooks <laughs> that are kind of heavy and big and I wasn't sure the best way to pack them yet. So that's still on the list. We have to pack our daughter's room, uh, but I need some like specialty boxes for that. So, um, because of her like miscellaneous baby gear, that we're re going to reuse for baby number two um, is too tall to fit our largest boxes. So we're going to get some wardrobe boxes that are taller and then it'll fit that stuff easily. Um, miscellaneous kitchen. Like we've pretty much packed everything in the kitchen except for stuff that we're actually using between now and the move. So, but there is going to be quite a bit of this that I need to pack, maybe a couple boxfuls. And then the two bathrooms, like the stuff in those. And I could probably pack everything from the lower level bathroom um, and then a lot of stuff from our upper level bathroom except what we need to like survive between now and then um, so that's something that's on the list as well there's there's like with any move where you're packing a piecemeal like this and you're not having movers come in and just pack everything all in one day there's going to be miscellaneous things. Like I can look at my husband's desk right now and I can tell you right now he didn't follow my instructions to pack all the stuff he can't live without between now and the move. <laughs> he hasn't moved a whole lot in his life, so he doesn't know. But there's going to be these boxes with miscellaneous things that you forget you have, you forget to pack, that, you know, as as until until the day, you know, you're like, oh, right. Um, so we're going to have some of those types of boxes too, but these are the main things that I know for sure need to be packed. Everything else is pretty much packed, which makes me feel really good about it. <clears throat> um, but that is so far all the things I can think of that I need to per do pr to prepare for our move and home purchase, um, apart from like closing stuff. So that's what I did. I did a brain dump in the back here. Very unpretty, as I said, but functional and I have been consulting it as you can see with the check marks and adding to it as I did um, before I starting this video today. Um, so um, the other like ways in which the moving stuff has come up in the planner is I certainly have once I knew the dates that we were going to close and move I popped those on there. Um, the last few weeks <clears throat> there's been like to do items related to the move although a lot of it comes up really unexpectedly. So there's not a, there's like less about the move in these weeks than there, than like you think there would be given how much like I have a heavy lift it is. <laughs> um, because they'll be like, we need blah, blah, blah. And you just do it. You know, you don't really like write it down on a list and then do it later. <laughs> it's not how it works with moving. So, um, it, there's like little things here and there that come up in the planner, but for the most part, a lot of that stuff is obscured. It's not like very evident. Um, in the planning, but there's like been a few things that I put on the list and like stuff that we've done. It's partly why these planner spreads look a little thin. Um, and I've been trying to like write more in them. 
but because between the end of the semester and the moving, um, it's just been, you know, it's been like, just do the next thing, do the next thing, do the next thing. Not a ton of time for like proactive planning. Um, luckily, like, I am because I am a planner. I have all the other stuff I need to be doing in my life figured out ahead of time, like my teaching related, admin related, writing related stuff. Um, so the house stuff, as it arises, <clears throat> we can tackle it. Um, and I don't have to worry about figuring out how to fit it around the other stuff because I've already planned it. So, um, so yeah, that's how it's showing up in the planner. Um, on the month a few just specific deadlines and then here if I do like have a task that will take time I jot it down but for the most part those moving tasks you just do them like immediately um, and then I keep kind of this running list in the back um, uh, as I think of things like that will need to change or do um, before or after the move so that is how I'm doing that um, let me think here if there's anything else I can share with you about planning for that. Um, I think getting moving quotes is a good plan. You know, very often you don't know, uh, by the time you know when you're going to be moving, it's a pretty tight window, maybe a month or so, um, between when you know that date and booking the movers. Um, so we did book them like maybe earlier than some people might in the process. Um, but we were worried because the holidays are coming up that we would struggle to book movers. And we're, we're obviously doing the version of moving where you pack your own stuff and then they just move your stuff. <clears throat> um, and for your own, satisfy your own curiosity about that. Um, they, they basically give you a, like four movers, uh, for six hours. And if it takes longer than six hours, then they charge you more. Um, but if it, takes less, they, they back pay. Um, so one of your goals then, um, if you're trying to like stay within budget and save money, um, is to pack your stuff in such a way that it does make it easy for them, that it does make it easier for them to move your stuff. So you're not like, you know, giving them a million tiny boxes that'll take forever to, to move. Um, you know, you're making it as easy on the movers as possible because you want them to be able to accomplish it in a short amount of time. We are doing a local move. It's literally 10 minutes up the road. So that's why the six hour window is, you know, in theory sufficient to move the stuff from our condo to our house. The other thing I'm going to be doing to help them is the day before when we close, I'm going to go around posting signs in the house. Like this is the front room. This is the living room. This is the dining room. This is bedroom number one, bedroom number two. Because I write on the box where it goes, right? But they don't know which room is which necessarily. Um, apart from like a kitchen and a bathroom, <laughs> they don't know. So I'm going to put signage so that they can see exactly where, what, you know, all these places are. And in theory, make it easier for them to put the stuff where it goes. <clears throat> the other reason I'm doing it that way is because I'm pregnant, y'all. I'm in my third trimester. And... I only want to move stuff from a box to wherever it goes <laughs> and not have to move boxes around the house if possible. Um, so that is a goal that I have. And if I can be as specific as possible with them about where stuff goes in the first place, then I will have less of that to do the moving stuff around. Um, one of the recommendations I make as a frequent mover, as <laughs> someone who has frequently moved, I should say, um, is to unpack, like to get everything out of the boxes as fast as possible, collapse the boxes and either donate those boxes or recycle them or whatever you're gonna do with them, get them out of your house. Um, because if you don't wanna be the kind of person who's living out of boxes for like years, um, it's just a really good idea to just dump everything out of them wherever, they, wherever the boxes are. And then, you know, seeing it there out of the box will kind of prompt you to like keep on sorting and organizing and putting away. Obviously doing a purge before you move is a good idea if you have the time. Luckily we did kind of do that before Freya was born last year, so I didn't really have to do a whole lot of that this time or for this effort. Um, but if like I'm the, like my mom, we moved a lot, as I said, when I was growing up, she would have our entire household 
unpacked and put away within three days every single time. And it's because she didn't want us to feel like we were constantly living out of boxes, even though that's, you know, part of moving a lot. Um, she really wanted to make, make it feel like home as fast as possible. So, and that's one of my goals as well. I might take me longer than three days, you know, with my current limitations, the one year old and pregnancy. But um, the point is that it will be faster than if I just keep everything in boxes and shove them in closets. So that's another recommendation that I have for you if you're moving. Um, I think that's just about it in terms of what I was thinking through when I planned the move. So I hope I found this interesting. I'd love to know in the comments if you have any tips or tricks for moving, especially for tips and tricks moving with a one-year-old under your feet. Um, you know, I've never done that before. That will be a new aspect to this whole experience. Um, but if you have if you have thoughts on that, let me know. Um, luckily, I'll have family in town who can watch her for and watch her and or help us unpack. So I'm excited for that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. As I said, I hope it was somewhat interesting, even though I was just kind of reviewing stuff with you. Um, if it was, just give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Um, stay tuned. I am going to start uh, setting up the new planner soon. There will be some more planning content coming your way. There may be a little gap, though, um, after we move, so bear with me while I get that stuff organized. Thanks so much for being here, and take good care.